What's up, people? It's your boy coming to you live and direct from the crib here in Chiang Mai. Um, the last week has been crazy. Since I spoke to you the day after that, I got terrible, terrible food poisoning. Spent the rest of the day in fetal position. And then the day after that, when I was still like half asleep and sick, hopped on the plane, made it up here. Stayed in the hospital, hospital, probably should have been going to the hospital. Stayed in the hospital for a few days and then um, found an apartment. Did a, went to a ton of apartments, checked them out, and the one that I settled on is typical Kia. It's close to a Muay Thai gym, close to a regular gym, close to the market. It's clean. And I want to show this place to you guys because it's about, it transfers about like 220, 230 bucks a month. So look at what 200 bucks gets you in Thailand compared to what I was paying in Philly. This is nuts. So right now we're on my little deck. Pause. Check this view out. Boom. What up? Boy, we got a little porch. Just today I got this little lawn chair so I can sit out here, think about life, my poor life decisions, and eat breakfast. Let's go inside. It feels very Brooklyn-y. Like you can tell this place was made for white Westerners who want to feel comfortable. Um, so this is a little bit excessive, but they have like two flat screens in here which I'm never gonna use. Got a couch, a little living space. Boom, 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 this is the uh, this is the kitchen area. It's got the dining table stuff behind me. Um, unfortunately, the kitchen doesn't come with much of a kitchen. It's just the sink. So I got myself a little burner. Um, the nice lady downstairs had an extra burner and a, a little, uh, what's it called, blender. So I've been making my smoothies in the morning. I go to the market, stock up on fresh fruit, fresh mango, ba fresh bananas. I get these little mini bananas. Um, some ice, maybe some vegetables, throw them in there, shake it up. Um, dry goods on top, got a little rice cooker, I've been eating hella rice, chicken, vegetables, simple stuff. Um, I have this little corner over here where I keep all my shit. Sunscreen, because it's cold. You know, look at this bathroom, check this out, boom, boom. Got that glass. It's not like, I'm not roughing it, we'll put it like that. It's not a, this isn't Kia's Great Adventure where I'm really challenged that much. Look at the bedroom. Look at that. Boom, I'm sleeping with an eye mask because I'm soft. That's that, that's that rapper life. That's the view from the bedroom. Wake up to that in the morning. Boom, bag, pills, clothes, little shelf space. Simple, but it's tight, it's clean. I chose this place because I feel like the lady who is at the front desk and like kind of helps run the place, takes care of your stuff, actually cared the most. Everybody else was just like, eh, and nonchalant. This lady was really up front. She, she was super helpful. Um, she gave me a bunch of the kitchen stuff. She's just super sweet. So I was like, you know what, since I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and I'm gonna have a lot of questions. I need someone who's gonna actually be willing to answer them. Um, and just be patient with me, because I'm a bit thick, if that weren't obvious. Uh, so we're out here. I'm living my best life. 200 bucks a month for this place, so I can spend less time doing bullshit, more time just doing stuff that I wanna do. That's why I'm here. I um, met with the guy yesterday about the visa stuff. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I'll figure that out. Um, just making money teaching English online still, and um, gonna now that things have, I feel finally like today, um, I'm just kind of starting to settle in. I don't feel quite so like everything's all over the place, although it kind of is still. But I feel a lot better. I just haven't been able to be creative yet, um, or really go out and do that much stuff. I've just been kind of meeting people and then going to get things squared away, whether it's for travel or apartment or back home, whatever. So hopefully. Now, I'll be able to actually be a little bit more creative, start kind of settling into my routine. Because, um, you know, I am here to play. It's a beautiful place, but I'm really here to buckle down and build my business. That was the point of this whole move, is to use the location arbitrage to 
um, really focus more time and build something that'll be um, that'll last me a long time rather than just I'm not trying to teach English to little kids forever you know what I mean I'm really here the main focus is to spend more time building my business so I'm hoping that I'll actually be able to start working here soon um, and then hopefully play you know a little bit here and there on the weekends but um, really start hustling the beats building out the website connecting with people there's such a community here I've already been to a couple meetings um, met a couple folks it's dope so I'm in better shape now better slept than I was last time we spoke um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted um, and man waking up with this in the morning is just nuts we're a long way from Philly man that's the damn truth all right thanks for tuning in keep you posted till next time you already know what it is peace